Hey everybody, it's the Tech Freak back here with another video. And this time, I'll be showing you how to have a taste or get to see the iWatch or the Apple Watch user interface on your iPad. So on your iPhone, you can download a tweak called Aeternum, but this tweak actually doesn't work on the iPad. Actually, it is supported, but it crashes and it has a lot of bugs, so it's it's really bad. So I found this other tweak called Watchboard that you can get from the Big Boss repo. It's a paid tweak, but if you don't want to pay for it, you can download it from the Hack Your iPhone repo that I'll be posting down below in the description. It's available there for free. So once you download this, you are now able to test and have a taste of the iWatch. All right, I'm just going to call it the iWatch. Of the iWatch user interface on your iPad. So once you install Watchboard, you will be granted with this new se section in the settings app called Watchboard. And from there, you can enable it and you can set an activation method to enable Watchboard using Activator. And then you can edit some stuff like you can choose if it's circle icons or, or not. And we're going to get into that in just a second here. And you can show icon labels or not. You like show the name of the applications. You can do the bubble effect, which we will also test right away. So first of all, let's enable Watchboard here. I'm going to tap on Enable. And once I go back, as you can see, I have Watchboard enabled. So it's really, really fluid. Maybe it's not really... Uh, shown to you as fluid as I'm seeing right now because of the screen recorder but it's really fluid and I really really like how it looks so you can zoom in zoom out and you know it really looks really really neat and now uh, if we went back to settings you can set an activation method so the default activation method is actually a short hold on your sleep button so if I short hold on my sleep button right away it will return back to normal. If I did this again, then it will uh, enable watch board. Now, let's get into. All right, in the home icons section in the watch board uh, settings, you can select an icon to focus on when you press the home button. So you can choose a system application or a one that you already downloaded. So I'm gonna choose Facebook for this demonstration. Now, if I press the home button, all right. If I press the home button, it's going to concentrate on Facebook because that's my most used application that I always want to be in front of me. So I can access it in every time because, of course, you're not going to save this organization in your mind. You know, you're not going to remember this. But, of course, if you have a, a very important application that you uh, use a lot, you can just tap on the home button. What is, uh, all right, anyways, uh, I don't know what's going on, but <laughs> anyways, uh, if you went back to settings here, and let's go to watchboard settings, I, you can choose any application, maybe Cydia, so it's going to concentrate on it once you press the home button, just like Facebook. All right, now, if you went here in the display, you can adjust some settings, like you can have to disable circle icons, and now if I went back here, you can see it's the normal shape. I think this is a little bit better because the badges, you know, the numbers that are on, on the icons, uh, they look better on this, but I actually like the the uh, rounded uh, or the circle icons. It looks kind of neat, but, you know, sacrifices. And you can choose to enable or disable showing the icon labels. So if you disable that, there's no more labels. So if you didn't notice the difference, if I enabled this again, as you can see, I have settings, contacts, movie box, and if I disable it, it doesn't tell me. All right, maybe you want this for a cleaner look. All right, you have offset alternating rows, which I don't know what the hell it means, but okay, now I know. All right, it organizes it in rows. All right, this is kind of cool, but you know, it's sacrificing the look of the Apple Watch. You know, if you enabled that, it's going to return back to this, you know, like, unorganized look. All right, now you have the bubble effect, 
which will allow now to disable the effect that happens when you you know when you go to a section of applications is going to blow up now it's disabled so if I went back again and enabled this as you can see if I go into an app it's going to blow up this is called the bubble effect all right so I'm just gonna do this again all right so it's that simple now you can adjust some like the icon spacing and you can adjust the bubble effect size so if I enable that till the maximum right here it's not gonna do anything but if I bring it to the minimum it's gonna make it a little bit more visible you know like yeah more than the default so the default is 50 actually so this is 30 so if you set it back to 50 it's going to return back to the normal one which I think looks the cleanest alright and you can adjust the icon spacing and stuff like that alright guys so this is the simple watch board and if you're asking about why my wallpaper or background is looking like this and doing some weird animations actually cool animations so this is a city a tweak by the name of weatherboard you can find in my channel a video for this especially on how to get this for free so you can click on my channel down below and you can watch this video and right beside that channel name you can find the subscribe button to subscribe for more jailbreak stuff like this coming really really soon so I'm I'm inside my exams right now so I cannot upload a lot of videos but once I finish those exams trust me you're gonna see a lot of videos coming from this channel so yeah thank you guys for watching this video and I'll catch you up in the next one